Hello everyone. Welcome to Kavita's Kitchen and Travel. Today I am going to show you how to prepare healthy and tasty makna chuda. Now let's see what all ingredients we need to prepare makna chuda. We need some makna or lotus seeds, some raw peanut, putani or roasted chana dal, some cashews, almonds, finely chopped green chili, curry leaves, oil, powdered sugar, 1 teaspoon of clarified butter or ghee, turmeric powder, red chilli powder, little garam masala, salt to taste and black salt. Let's start the preparation. Keep on pan for heating. Once the pan is hot, add clarified butter. Now we have to roast the makna in clarified butter. Roast these for 3 to 4 minutes or until makna become crunchy. I have been roasting this since 5 minutes. We can take out this in bowl. I will keep this aside. In the same pan, I am going to add oil. Once the oil is hot, add finely chopped green chili, curry leaves, peanuts. Roast these peanuts for 30 to 40 seconds. If you would like to add garlic, you can add garlic. Keep stove heat to low. Add roasted chana dal, cashews and almonds. Roast everything well on low flame. If you would like to add some raisins, pumpkin seeds, melon seeds, you can add while roasting. Once everything is roasted well, add turmeric powder, red chili powder, garam masala, salt and black salt. I am going to switch off the stove. This pan will be hot. Mix everything well. Now it's time to add roasted makana. We have to mix everything well. Now mixing is done, it's time to add powdered sugar. Here I am using sieve to add sugar so that sugar will coat evenly to the makna. Healthy and tasty makna chuda is ready to serve. You can see makna have become crispy. When you roast the makna, they have to be crispy like this. You can store makna chuda in a tight container for 1 to 2 weeks. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please do try this at home and let me know your feedback. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye. Take care.